I am back to continue my series, Five Things About the Shadow. This is thing number four. So in the last video, I was talking about how sometimes there are gifts hidden in your shadow. And I wanted to expand a little bit on that because I feel like that's good news. It's exciting. And something that's really interesting is a lot of times the people around us, the people who know us well, they can see it plain as the nose on our face, but we cannot. And the shadow is so like that. Something that you will encounter when you get into shadow work is the use of projections. If you can get comfortable looking at your projections, the things that you project onto other people because you cannot bear to have those qualities within yourself, then you're gonna be in the ballpark of being able to discover your gifts because we do the same thing with them. We project them onto other people. So two potential access points for exploring potential gifts hidden in your shadow are one, envy, and two, putting people up on a pedestal. So envy is really interesting because it can be miserable. It can bring up a lot of uncomfortable feelings. It can make you very angry. It can make you behave in a way that is not the best, like gossiping about someone or nitpicking at them to try to bring them down a peg. But envy is actually, the way I understand it, different than jealousy. Jealousy is fear that somebody is gonna take something that you already have, and envy is the fear that somebody has something that you want. And so it's a bit of a scarcity model because if they have it, then I can't have it. But the truth is, if you can see something in someone else that stirs up a lot of envy in you, it might be because you are projecting a gift onto them. And it might not be that, oh, they're an influencer on Instagram and you wanna be an influencer on Instagram. It might be that they're really confident when they speak about what they're passionate about. And you wanna be passionate about something and you wanna speak that way. Maybe in the past when you were really passionate about something or you behaved in a very confident way, maybe the people in your family or in the schoolyard or your church, maybe they thought you needed to be brought down a few pegs and you got picked at for doing that. And so you didn't feel safe expressing that part of yourself. So when you see someone else doing it, it pisses you off. You're like, how dare they? <laughs> and so in that way, it's kind of interesting. Your enemies, the people that you love to hate on, they're actually friends in disguise. They're showing you something about yourself. That's important. And this is not run of the mill envy. This is when you like love to hate watch someone or you're going out of your way to talk shit about them. When it's a really charged experience for you emotionally, that's a good clue that you might be hanging out around a shadow. And remember the shadow is subconscious. So that is why there are all these techniques and tricks for trying to access that information because it is not in your conscious awareness. You're not aware that you're doing it. And then the other one can actually feel good for a time and it's when you just really, really, really admire someone and you put them up on a pedestal. Oftentimes we put people on pedestals so we can knock them off later. <laughs> Not intentionally, it's all subconscious, but we put them up on a pedestal and we're so into them. We wanna binge everything they're creating. We wanna read all their books. We wanna watch all their videos. We wanna hang out with them all the time. We're putting them above us and admiring them because they are reflecting back at us something that we have within. What we admire in them is a quality that wants to be expressed in ourselves. And again, it's just gonna have a certain charge to it. It's not that everyone you admire is revealing to you some hidden gift, but if it has a strange extra special charge to it, that might be worth looking at, particularly if you have a pattern of this and you kind of fall in love with admiration over some new hot person and you binge all their content and you sign up for all their things and then you experience disillusionment until the next hot thing comes along and you put them up on a pedestal. If that's a pattern for you, it might be that the disillusionment is 
this gift that you have is unfulfilled this person is expressing it they can never fulfill you ever it's yours to fulfill and again it might not be that you want to do exactly what they're doing if this is a pattern for you you can look at the different people that you've done this with and you can be like what is the quality that keeps getting me so fired up about these people what is the quality that they have in common that really ignites this fire in me and then where is that quality hanging out in myself how can i bring that quality out in myself your shadow has some very interesting secrets to share with you if you'll just be gentle with it and patient and stay curious